new videos. I don't know how long it's going to be, but let's see. <laughs> um, basically, the, I'm starting sort of a new, um, let's say, folder on my channel for um, sort of makeup and skincare. I'm going to try and kind of force myself at doing these type of videos that like showing what I use on my face um, and like my makeup and I'm thinking of doing like a sort of a hair um, video as, as well but I'm still sort of learning how to do different styles in my hair because I'm, I'm not exactly the best at styling and being creative and stuff like that so this is my um basically the first time i am doing this so please sort of <laughs> be kind <laughs> and if i'm doing anything wrong please tell me and if i if i get like get a new product for my face and um, like i'll add it to like my videos like this sort of video and all that i'm just basically going to take my time doing this video and basically doing my um face mm, basically cleansing my face now i'd sometimes do differently sometimes i do a face mask um and stuff like that sometimes i use a bit of this um pure clay ble blemish rescue um face mask l'oreal paris can get it in boots or probably any, in any of the um pharmacy um so sometimes i do that um and everything like that so um yeah so this is my first video so i hope you like this video and yeah <laughs> okay guys so the first thing that i am starting off with is basically um, the toner it's L'Oreal it's for a dry and sensitive skin um, you can get it in boots pharmacy whatever um, so basically you get a cotton pad and you drizzle a bit on make sure it does not go on your floor or laptop like I did and just rub this all over it's always good to use this um i like when you're coming out of the shower when um you're back you're basically back from a nature walk um a for just a normal walk um and even when you kind of take off your makeup you can even do this and this sort of helps with if you have spots and everything like that it kind of helps it cleans the spots and open the pores and everything like that so that's really good so i'm after doing that um around here it does sort of sting a bit like after when you're kind of rubbing it but the sting only lasts for like two seconds um it is for dry and sensitive skin. I I know it says on the bottle, but I also double checked with the pharmacy, um, in boots, because my skin are, is literally like a baby skin. It's so sensitive, so that's why I'm always careful of what I use on my face and my skin and everything like that. Another thing, um, that you can do when you're in it, when you're in the shower, um you can use this i get it in tesco kind and pure for sensitive skin fragrance free and um, cleanse face wash so you can put that on, basically on and then like when you're kind of in the shower just rub it all over your face and then rinse it and stuff like that um so i use that in the shower mainly and then straight after when i come out of the shower i put this on and it it's just really helpful it's like it just makes like even just using this my face is already like feel fresh and clean and everything like that but i prefer to basically finish off um 
my FaceTime. So I'm going to um, basically show you my next um, FaceTime thing one. Alright guys, so this one here is basically Nivea. Um, some people use this to remove um, the makeup after a long hard day guys. Um, it's a 3 in 1 makeup for Ruber, it's for sensitive skin. Um, no rinsing, like you know where some people mm -mm, stick something on and then you have to rinse it off with water. You don't need to do this with this one. So basically what you do is just put some on a cotton pad. You can get cotton pads absolutely anywhere guys. Absolutely anywhere. You can get them in Dio's, you can get them in Eurodrines, you can get them in Tesco, Super Value, Boots, all the pharmacies and everything like that. <laughs> Even pennies you can get them in. Um, I know pennies isn't open but definitely a pharmacy in Tesco and whatever. So basically you just do the same you put an extra you rub a little bit harder and more longer on where you have the spots and where you, basically where you normally get spots so i get in spots at the corner of my nose very weird place to get them but that's my skin for me yes. so after doing that my face is already feeling so much better now. Hi. Okay. And um, some people use that to remove makeup. I don't. I use. Um. I'll show you actually. I use these Johnson's makeup wipes. I can get them in Tesco. That's the makeup wipes that I use to take off my makeup and then afterwards I, I use this just to double check that all the makeup is sort of gone and then I start cleansing basically. But once I used this one, basically this one after using this, I don't use this again. So I don't. So I'm going to show you what I do next. Alright guys, so the next one, I my sister actually gave this one to me, I didn't actually buy it, but I presume you buy it in Tesco, and um, I presume you can get it in anywhere that does sort of face things, really. Um, you can put it, it's a mask, but you can also put it in, put it on your face on daytime and nighttime. It's a 3-in-1 nourishing balm with rose water. Um, it's a 3-in-1 day-night mask actually, sorry. Um, so, to me it looks like this. So basically what you do is get a few fingers. There you go. Put it on. Put it on. On. See, I normally use this at night time because it's just so absolutely soft. And then just get your two hands and scrub it up, up and just make sure it is all in. Just hopefully, it is all in like so and it doesn't matter if you use too much of it or too less of it or anything like that your face still comes out nice and smooth so there you go yeah so that is done so I usually put this on at night time because it's just so nice relaxing putting that on and <laughs> going to bed and everything like that. Um, but I sometimes, I'd say once a week, I use it in the daytime, like first thing in the morning. I 
would normally put it on um, if I ever do put it on in the morning. Um, but I normally just put it on at night time um, and everything like that because by the time it hits the morning your face is so nice and smooth. Literally so nice and smooth. Alright guys, so my next one is a refreshing daily moisturiser. We got it in Tesco. Um, there is a complete, basically a set. So I got the, these two as sort of a set. Um, so basically you put this on in the shower. Basically this sort of cleans your face. Like I started using these when I started working in the cafe at my workplace. In the kitchen. Um, Basically, just with all like the grease and the dirt that I was sort of working with, um, I could, you I would always come home, take a shower, put this on, um, when I'm in the shower, and then when I'm out of the shower, I use the moisturizer. So after using the shower one, I stick this one on. It just helps with the spots and the pores, and just after cleaning your face, it makes you face just nice and smooth and soft basically you just put a tiny bit on literally anywhere on your mm. face and just rub it and just literally just rub it in as much as you possibly can I guarantee you, after doing all this, your face will be basically smoother like a baby's bottom. <laughs> um, so yeah. Now I always do this every day. Which doesn't exactly explain why I have spots. But anyway. <laughs> Absolutely anyway. <laughs> so I would always put this on straight away after my shower when I come up here get dressed I whack this on my face well not whack it on sort of rub it on <laughs> um, so that is basically what I do with that um, with the Skin and PR um, products and I have been using it for the past since I started the workplace so I didn't start last year, so 2019 I've been using this and it has been perfect, it's been great. It's also got, like it says on the bottle, for sensitive skin. It It's very good for sensitive skin. And see, my face is so sensitive that if something that doesn't agree with me, my face puffs up, can't see out and see out my eyes. <laughs> and everything <laughs> so so I'm glad that I sort of found that in Tesco and usually I don't get these products in um, Tesco other than face masks basically and the sheet, the sheet face masks um, but I highly recommend this these two Tesco ones highly recommend these two highly recommend especially for some of you out there who has really sensitive skin so look like mine totally recommend that product in Tesco so moving on to um, the second last product alright guys so this is I only got this recently um, I only got this I think last week no, it was before I got my toe done, so the end of January basically. Um it, you you get it in boots. Um it is a tea tree witch hazel shine control day moisturizer lightly moisturizes and helps skin shine free. So basically it tells you at the back so to use smooth on your skin with clean fingers and blend in for the best results use every morning after cleansing so i use this every single day after cleansing my face 
um, so I do um, even straight after my shower I always stick this on so after using bit of this I always stick this on straight away afterwards and it is so nice so you just literally rub it on and I do have clean fingers because I literally washed my hands before before um, this uh, video <laughs> almost losing my words there but so there we go <sighs> perfect so um, so to me I highly recommend all the products that I have been using so far because just for me saying I have such sensitive skin and I mean very sensitive skin like say for instance someone <laughs> I don't know poked me I would get a massive bruise so I would um, so I definitely recommend all of these products so I am going to put photos up of each one at the end of this video so you can kind of see them properly um, so you can so yeah so moving on to the last finale of my face lens alright guys so this is a spot wand and um, you get it in boots it comes with this it is a tea tea tree witch hazel spot wand fight spots and instant ac action and you you can use it in day or night so basically this one is day and that one is night so i'm going to use the day one my hands are so flippy i need to wipe my little handies okay so basically make sure you kind of open up this way instead of the other way and literally you just get a little thing and you just put it on where you have only where you have your spots and if you see any small spots showing up whack a bit of this on and I always always use the daytime and the nighttime one so you do so highly recommend and put literally a good bit on it like me so there we go and hopefully in a few days time I can see a difference with the spots especially using this and like the pharmacy in Boots was telling me that this the spot one is actually very 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 pop popular like when I went in I think th this one this was the last one that was um, sort of in the pocket things on the shelf and um, that was the last one um so now i haven't fully used it yet i know it's only been two weeks and everything like that but i presume it takes a little bit longer to kind of for it to fight the sort of fight the spot the spots um but i can see a bit of a po a po excuse me a progress <laughs> um with the spot wand um and also like i have noticed that even wearing face masks into the shop and everything like that they can cause spots coming up they can cause spots so that's why every day i'm forever 
cleansing my face in the daytime and nighttime when I'm going to bed. Um, just because like you're sort of just cleaning your face after that day when you went to the shops wearing a face mask and going for walks wearing a face mask and everything like that. So it's just really helpful to do and especially using this for spots as well because um, at the moment um, me, myself and my sister have been suffering from spots from the face masks and um, but I can really see a difference from the last, the last week of January when I first started eating, like before I even used it you, like even when I'm standing back you can still make out the spots and I know you still possibly can but I'm getting there, I'm getting there <laughs> so I am <laughs> So yeah, so I highly recommend this spot one. So that's pretty much my face cleansing video number one, <laughs> part one, whatever. Um, so I really hope, and if I get any new products um, and stuff like that for my face along the way, I will share them with you. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed um, and liked um, my video and there will be a photo basically in the next clip of just literally just a photos like a photo collage um, type of thing for, for you all to kind of see properly of what ones I sort of use so so if you have liked or enjoyed enjoyed this um video and um, please subscribe to my channel and um hit the bell for notifications and give us a like on this video as well and if you use any of these products and and all um so uh, oh my god <laughs> okay Sorry, I had to start again because I just lost my words. Um, so basically, um, if you have used any of these products, um, comment below and let me know and let me know what you think of these products yourself. Um, if you suggest, if you have any suggestions of new, um, any other face cleansing that I can use and I will test them out for you and I will let you know um, so thanks guys thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day guys <laughs>